God wants you to walk with him. He doesn't choose lazy people. No. You have a spare time and you think you should relax. You watch CNN and CNN till 12 p.m. midnight. He's not like that. Take action. Ecclesiastes 6, 10, 18. Ecclesiastes 6, 10, 18 says that the lazy person can make the roof to leak because you are not doing anything about it. God-given dream can be lost if you don't do something about it. Take action. If God has put something beautiful in you, take action. Do it straight away, immediately. That's how to walk in dominion. Take action with the word of God. You have a challenge. You don't know what to do with it. Challenge the problem with the word. Take action. Because you see, he sent his word. If you can apply the word of God, he will give you deliverance from that challenge. Take action. We are moved away from the generation of people who will say, Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. The next minute you are coming, Pastor will walk the other and say, God, that one has nothing else to say. Because you see, my elders in Africa, they said that it is the one that has pain in his leg that hawks and stole to the physician. If you have a headache and you say, Pastor Janet, pray for me and I pray for you and I say to you, now that we have prayed, somebody should give me the paracetamol, I will drink it. Will you feel it? Will you feel it? No. You won't. Take action. Take responsibility for yourself. Take action in the place of prayer. Luke 18 verse 1. Luke 18 verse 1. Take action in the place of prayer. Don't get tired. Don't give up. Who knows? Perhaps you're only two days away. Who knows? Perhaps you're only two hours prayer away from that victory. Two hours prayer is all you need to get there. Take action. 